Welcome to Seaballs Outdoors. I'm Seaballs. Today, out on the rocks down the south coast, an hour and a half from Sydney in Shell Harbour. Trekked an hour and a half across the rocks in the blazing heat to try and get on to some early season kingfish. It hasn't gone very well, but I managed to get onto a couple of really good fish, really good fights, and some beautiful scenery. Mostly using like shore jigging techniques on a PE2 rod. If you want to check out a cool spot, watch me catch some fish, stick around. At this point, I'm kind of waiting for the sun to go down a little bit just so I can escape some heat as I trek back across the rocks. Stick around, hopefully you enjoy it. You will enjoy. We are nearly at the spot. The goal is to just get to the spot. All right, complication one. Shut. What are we supposed to do? Oh my God, the gentleman's here. He's opening the place half an hour early. No, an hour and a half early. Cheering. Here we go, we're at the ledge boys. So I think down here, uh, once I look up here, I'll be able to figure out where I'm gonna fish today. First things first, PFD. Small trek, sun's up, ready to go. Pass out with the big thing before we get something smaller on. tide comes in, I think I'll get washed off here if I'm not careful. I might have one more cast with the metal and either stand over there where I feel a bit safer or find another ledge. Oh, my banana! A bird ate it! They got both of them! Oh. Curse you! Yes! Okay, rest time. Gonna need to keep the break pretty short because we're nearly at the top of the tide. I think slack and run out. So I've effectively just got to keep casting from 8 a.m. till about 3. The little area I've got is quite nice, very relaxing. That's so annoying. We've lost that jig for sure. Well, this ages ago from um, a website called Tackle Paradise that sells reasonably cheap stuff. I do think something could be about to happen. I can see a seagull over there sitting on the water. So maybe some stuff is coming through that's feeding. Seagulls during the day don't just hang out on the water put some of our stuff away and we're going to try move along the ledge a little. I saw some crabs. I think this looks pretty good. Just give it the one. All right, keep moving. This is exactly what I wanted, casting along the shore. That's good. What is that? 
Come on, up, 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 up. Very good. What are you? That's a nice bonito. Yes. Oh, finally. Got something. <sighs> Quickly dispatch him. That's a great size. That's like 40 or so. That's a good fish. Just need to get it up. Oh. No, it's swimming with it, okay. Up, come on. Oh my God, I nearly stacked it. I think that's a different one. Watson's flying Benito, maybe? Fish number two. All right, it's coming on. Just need to be careful about how I'm gonna get this out of the guy, because he's gonna go nuts. Pliers, that's how you're gonna do it. And then we'll just do the same thing by hand gutting. Rip the gills out, snap the neck. quite interesting it's only when I'm casting down this direction a long edge so stuff must just be smashing bait down here that's just on a 40 gram tackle paradise jig very cheap I think they were three dollars each actually so I'm getting started I lost a lot and um, I couldn't stomach it especially when you get started you pay 15 bucks for a lure and if you don't know how to use it you're probably going to lose it quite quickly good to practice with the cheap stuff so we'll head back take the fish in the fish bag and we'll move down here and we'll try and fish over there I'll bring all my stuff down hide it just somewhere out of the sun have a short rest and then get back into it this guy's still twitching Aldi fish keeper bag. So uh, I reckon the bigger one is probably close to 40. Yeah, there we go. 39-ish. Uh... Okay. I think this little crevice is going to serve us well in terms of a, a little hidey hole. This is quickly becoming a survival challenge. It is so hot. I'm up here in my little mouse house having a break. After lunch break, so probably need to limber up a bit. All right, I think 
I don't know what I think. It's getting very hot. I have to tie another FG. Oh my God. I'm gonna squeeze up into the, the shade over here. Got the loop. Leader. Half hitch. I've got the leader just pulled at an angle to create additional friction. It's kind of bitten down a bit, changes colour. This platypus mono is so good. I'm gonna run out of it soon if I have to keep tying FGs though. Getting quite the collection of tags. For my last 35 minutes, I'm actually just gonna go check out what's around that corner. Okay, down here. Wow. This would just be a six spot even for a swim. So clear and sandy down there. Okay, that's it I think. Got here at like 5 a.m. ish, so I've been here for a long time. And I think that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed the scenery and me catching a couple of fish. If you want to know anything about what I was up to, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If at all, really. I might not. Who knows? I probably will. Hopefully that just shows what I've got in store for summer. Like I'm really super keen to get onto like a meter plus of kingfish off the rocks. That's kind of going to be my goal. Anyway, well, um, I'll see you in the next video. Or not. You can choose whether you watch it. Best of luck with your future endeavours. Oh sh! Blue, blue tongue lizard. Oh, that's sick.